Hi there, it's Dave with the Lug Nut here once again with Project Scar. Today we're going to take this 208 transfer case that we rebuilt in our last episode and get her back in the truck. Okay, so what we got going on here is the angle of the key case is down to the nose. We just got to bring it down, just adjust it so it's up and lines up. One little trick is uh, whenever you have a mating flange on a heavy item like this and you got a gasket that's got to go in place, I'll take the uh, take a little bit of silicone, put the gasket on and let it set up. That way it's not shifted ground on you and you only have to worry about the two components. So on these, just add a little bit of blue Loctite to them. All right, so we got the strap off. Uh, we got three bolts in, they're, they're snugged up. Uh, you, much like a tire, use a uh, like crisscross, kind of a torque sequence, just to draw that flange in nice and flush and so it doesn't create any binding. And now what we can do is we can lower this jack out of the way so, so, that it's, uh, so we can get at the other bolts a little better. This is a wet uh, setup, so the uh, it's important that uh, they're all tight. They got a little bit of sealant on them. Otherwise, you're gonna have a drip for sure. There, you can see the ele electro connector right at the top here. Make sure that's done up. And uh, I guess while we're here, we might as well put the uh, shift linkage on. All you need for that is just a little cotter pin. All right, so make sure you have a washer on the back side of this. Clip every cutter pin. There we go. Tail is over. There we go. All right, so this is the transfer case vent line. It's located right at the very top of the uh, tail housing. Just slide that bent, just slide that line on, and uh, she's good. Okay, next up, we're going to deal with the uh, front drive shaft. You grab your uh, your bolts, make sure you got good lock washers on them. When you're dealing with a mating flange, a little tip, just make sure you uh, get them all started before you start tightening them up. That way you won't have any, uh, any holes bind up on you. As we went to bolt this up, things were a little bit tight as that strut rod goes right to the bell housing. I had to loosen that up at the front just to uh, get full access to these. Things. These holes are slotted, so uh, just I'm going to leave these a little bit loose. Go up front, tighten that up, and uh, this bar will pull that way. Then I'll tighten these up last. Lube that up. You don't need to do too much. Slot it right in. There we go. Perfect. So these U-joints get held into the yoke. There's little, uh, there's little tabs. You gotta make sure that uh, your caps are seated on the inside of there. It's uh, real, real easy to accidentally have this cap sit riding up on there just a little bit. Then when you go and you tighten it up, 
it deforms the cap and your U-joint will fail prematurely. Okay, so we got this U-joint tight. Now all we gotta do is roll forward. We're gonna put the fluid in the D case. We're gonna put the speedometer in, skid plate, drop that front end down, we're gonna take it for a drive. Just gonna make sure this drain plug is actually tight so we don't make a mess. Perfect. Grab your thirty mil. All right, so we'll take this assembly, slide her in place. Because this truck's got an LS in it, you have to run this uh, speedometer adapter. And uh, so it kind of makes it a little bit of a pain to get that little 10 mil bolt back in place. But uh, it's much easier when uh, on a standard configuration. transfer cases back in SCAR and uh, as you can see fairly simple process just some standard metric tools and uh, that was all we needed.